Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of your energetic check-in. I'm Michelle from Sound Intuition and let's jump in. So there has been a lot. I know we've been talking a lot about heavy energies, but they're just they're just here. They're just here and they're, you know, they've been here. So um the holidays are over and the new year is here. The Gregorian New Year, at least, which we talked about in the last video. But, um, so, some really heavy energies have been hanging around, um, which is common, you know, for this time of year. But right now, it's extra. So, well, actually, now, moving into Friday will be, oh, wait, Thursday will be the, the new moon. So we're moving into some new moon energy. We're going to be, which is the first new moon of the new year. So get ready to set your intentions. So all through the holidays, all through, you know, the new year, we've been talking about integrating, integrating 2023, integrating everything that has come to pass integrating our lives, integrating our feelings, integrating our situations, our relationships, everything. So through that integration process, that sitting with these things process, that journaling process, we have come to a state of more clarity. And this clarity that is gained from that introspection was hard. I think it, it, it hit really hard and now it's starting to calm a little. The energy is beginning to calm. If you don't feel the calm now, you will this week. Like it's beginning to calm. And then we're going to move into the energies of the new moon, which will help us to really set intentions and really begin to go within and plan, plan, plan. Um, the winter is more of a planning time than a do, do, do time. It's a time to just be. It's a more feminine time. So it's more feminine energy of just being and integrating and um, planning. So creativity. So really... Stepping into that creativity, doing creative things. What is it that you love to do? What are your hobbies? If you don't have any hobbies, get some. So this is the time to really discover, like, how can I feed my creative side? And if you don't think that you're creative, I'm sorry, you're wrong. You are. You just have to find what your creative outlet is. What's the thing that feeds your creativity? And you know me, I don't ever say you're wrong and nobody's wrong, you know, but like in this instance, every single fucking person on this world is creative in some which way, just in different ways. You know, you just have to find that way. And if you want to step into that creativity, um, work with the sacral chakra, work with the hips, do some movement into the hips um, while you're alone, you know, or like look up some belly dance videos or just moving into the hips, stretching out the hips, working through the hips, um, using the foam roller, roll out those hips, you know, whatever feels comfortable for you, but work with the hips, work with the pelvis. That is where creativity comes from, right? Like, I know that sounds crazy to some of you, but some of you, you're going to be like, yes, sacral chakra, yes, you know, but um, really, really sifting through there. Meditation, meditating on it, meditate on it, journal on it, write down your hobbies or hobbies you'd like to have, even hobbies you'd like to have that you don't do, but you, I've always wanted to do that or things that you enjoy. Discover your hidden creativity and it will feed you and bring you joy 
bring you more clarity, bring you more peace, bring you more calm, allow you, and, and no matter what you choose, do not be hard on yourself. Like if you choose coloring and you're just like, oh, this doesn't look good, you know, or drawing or painting, do not like, it is not the outcome that matters. It's the process. And art is subjective. Even to you, who even the artist, you know, the artist, my, I've, I've known so many artists who are like, Ugh, I hate this. And I'm like, that is amazing. So <laughs> try not to be a critic. Okay. It's not your job to critique yourself and your art and your creativity in whatever form it comes. It is your job to just, just do it. Just like be in it, be in it, allow it to be a process for you allow it to unfold okay allow let the fuck go of the outcome let the finished product go let it go and just enjoy the process of just being so that will really help right now too but these energies are coming down um these energies are they're not going to be as heavy um right now at least <laughs> but um so right now also a lot of us are having these feelings of purging whether it be physically purging through like um detoxes cleanses things like that um or i mean even the earth is purging right now as in like there's so much rain going on outside at least where i'm where i'm at but it's beautiful. It's the earth purging. So my suit's there too. Ah! The earth is purging. So it's a beautiful thing uh, to see. So we're purging. We're releasing. We are cleaning out. We're cleaning out up here. We're cleaning out in here. In here. Everywhere. We're cleaning out everywhere. In our closets. Our lives. We're really looking around and seeing what... what what needs to stay and what needs to go? We're doing inventory. Inventory outside of ourselves and inventory inside of ourselves. So, and then after we do this inventory, we can start to, okay, I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need this. Like that, that comes with, you know, just your living situation, your finances, your, how you spend your time. You know, all these things, all of these things are going to be under a light right now. Um, you're, you'll notice yourself really looking at these things. And that's because it's the new year energy. We're moving. We're trying to figure out what we liked about last year, the flow of last year, what we did last year that we enjoyed and what really worked for us. And then what didn't work for us? And then we're looking at how can we change that? How can we change? How can we keep the things that we enjoyed and change the things that we, you know, that weren't really working for us or didn't bring us joy or didn't, you know, fulfill us or feed us or, um, you know, that just added more stress and things. And that can be people that can be, you know, things that can be jobs that can be you know just addictions and addictions come in all forms you know shopping addictions coffee addictions alcohol drugs i mean it doesn't have to be just alcohol drugs cigarettes like everything so much so much so much so much can be an addiction sugar you know so many things um <laughs> pessimism <laughs> can be an addiction. Positivity can be an addiction, you know, and both can be equally destructive. Honestly, like it really can be. So, um, really sitting, integrating and allowing your time, allowing yourself time to do so. No rush. There's no rush. We have all winter long and guess what? Winter just started on December 21st. So, and it's here until March. So, you know, No rush. <laughs> Allow yourself the time and space to just be this winter. To really sit with things. And then in the spring, we'll do a, um, a 
manifestation. What are those things called? Vision board. A manifestation vision board. We'll do one of those. But I, and some people like to do those in January, you know, for the new year. I like to do it for the springtime, the real new year, when everything's, you know, when you're ready to just come out of that cocoon, to be birthed, to be rebirthed, everything's growing again, we're growing again, we're ready. So that's the energy that is to come. But in order to do that, in order to manifest those things, in order to create the visions, you know, like in order to figure out the visions that you want to manifest and start doing and, you know, you got to plan. You got to sit with it. You got to set intentions. So that's what we're doing right now. And this new moon will help. So really sit with this Capricorn energy and what type of intentions can I set that are in alignment with this new moon energy, the new moon, the new moon and Capricorn energy. So yes, there is a lot, as I always say, there's so many beautiful astrologers out there. I love astrology, but I am not an astrologer. I just don't have enough knowledge, but I love astrology and I love watching the videos and everything. So I highly recommend finding an astrologer on YouTube or whatever that you really enjoy and following them. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's, there's also Instagram and all the different places like your um, emails. I really like, um, moon omens. I really like them. I get emails from them too. Um, so just a shout out to them because I really, really resonate with them. There's a lot that I resonate with. Um, but, uh, which I could always share with you if you want some recommendations, just send me a comment. I can share with you lots of recommendations, but Thank you all for joining me today. I'm not in my car. Look at this. I'm not in my car today. <laughs> so my energy's a little more grounded. You can tell when I'm in my car. I'm like, woo! <laughs> That's just how my energy is when I'm in the car. When I'm at home, it's a little more grounded. So if you liked this video, please hit a like, hit the like button, share it out. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, the ding ding bell, and that will alert you for whenever I have new videos or meditations, things like that. I just recently made a meditation for, um, a friend of mine who's really sick right now and, um, just going through a lot of physical, physical things and, um, so it's a meditation for deep healing. So it's for physical and emotional healing. So if you want to check that one out, it's only like 11 minutes. Um, but it was really great connecting with you guys today. I'm sending you so much love and see you soon.